The home section in GA4 provides information that is tailored to your interests and actions within Google Analytics, helping you find information that is relevant and useful to you. Let's take a look at the GA4 dashboards and standard reports. On the left sidebar, you will see these five sections, Home, Reports, Explore, Advertising and Configure. But GA4 is still under development, so you might see different sections here in the future or maybe specific option move to a different place. All right, let's click on Home. This section can be used to track traffic, navigate through different charts tailored to your actions, view recently accessed details here, and gain insights and recommendations about your websites and mobile apps. The more you use analytics, the more personalized the content on the home page becomes. We can't see any data here as this is a new property, but let's switch to the GA4 demo property provided by Google to see the data and insights. All right, now we are in the GA4 demo account let's walk through the reports here at the top you can see this exclamation mark where it tells the google analytics has applied thresholding to one or more calls in the report we talked about this in our admin panel explanation consider watching it if you haven't to understand why this happens next we have this chart here we can see the users conversions new users and event count you can switch any of these metrics from this drop down let's say you want to track the performance for checkouts then you can switch this from here e-commerce checkouts or if you want to look for revenue metrics then you can do that from here as well the solid line shows the performance of the selected metric over the last seven days and this dotted line here shows the performance for the preceding period meaning you can compare the performance from here and see if the solid line is improving compared to the dotted line or not you can also click on this view report snapshot to see the detailed view and it will take you to the reports section here. By default, these charts here show the performance for the last seven days, but you can switch this to a different time frame from here, or you can also switch the default date range to the last 14 days or 28 days from the user section within the admin panel here. So let's go back to the home section. Now on the right side, you will see this real time chart. This will tell you how many users were active in the last 30 minutes and the breakdown of users by each minute. Here it also shows the country-wise breakdown as a dimension, but you can switch this to a city, audience, or campaign, or you can just keep it to choose for me, where analytics will change this automatically depending on your past actions and view history. On the metrics side, we have users, but you can switch this to a new user as well, or keep it choose for me, like the dimension. Moving further, we have this recently accessed card where the reports and pages you have recently viewed or visited will appear. Like here, we can see that I recently viewed traffic acquisition, demographics, user acquisition, events, and so on. Then we have this section called suggested for you. This might look different to you depending on the interest and activities in the account. Like here, we can see the user by country ID, session by channel grouping, and landing page performance. It shows the total number of event counts and the difference in the performance of the last seven days compared to the preceding period. For example, this chart shows the number of users coming from the United States increased by 18.1% in the last seven days compared to the previous period. There's some more suggestions here as well if you click on the next icon. And again, these might be different cards for you depending on your activity. Underneath that, we have insights and recommendations. These are automated insights using machine learning algorithms to provide insights around significant shifts that happened in the account or any unexpected behavior identified by analytics over time. Wherever you see this star sign, here the analytics intelligence uses historical data to identify anomalies in a specific metric over time. We can see here that the new user from shopping cart dropped from 18th to 24th of December and you can see this circle here that tells you where exactly the anomaly is and what was actually expected based on historical performance. Let's say you have planned a 20% offer on any specific event that significantly increases the total number of users to your website and improves conversions. In that case, GA4 might show you an anomaly point for that specific time because it's a sudden spike that does not match the expected value based on historical data. Like here, it says we forecasted that new user for the screen class shopping card would be between 23 and 84. Your actual new users of 21 were less than this range. These kind of insights could be useful in finding the areas of gap and understanding the next steps. And then we have these custom insights on the right side as well. You can click on expand these insights or view all insights to see all the insights and take a decision on your paid channels or any other area based on this. If you go to the top section of the home page, you can also see this star sign at the top right, which also tells you the insights if you click here. 
And that's everything on the home section. Now let's move to the standard report to understand the acquisition, engagement, and monetization in detail.